Hello and welcome back to Forts and as you guys notice we have some holiday theme here. I'm going with the Christmas theme because it is, well, it is Christmas time, it is holiday time and we're here to spread some jolly merriment and as by, by jolly merriment I, I, I mean DACA, like just just more, more cannons more bullets. I, I want to hear these cannons sing. Uh, so th I, I think I'm just gonna go with like 20 millimeters this time. That's something I haven't played with. I generally give uh, 20 millimeters a, a kind of a rough time because they are they take up a heavy weapon slot, but they don't act like heavy weapons, so it makes it kind of difficult to use them. But um, I I can show you guys a good way to use them uh, by building like 17 of them and then unleashing glorious rain upon upon our foes. Uh, Usually works pretty well, so uh, I've got my two mines, my turbine, something, not, nothing terribly exciting here. I'll go with the armory because I don't need the, with cannons, I don't have to worry about any kind of gimmicky weapon types and such, so I can just have a, well, armory for defensive reasons, just in case I need the extra defense here. Now looks like my teammate's going for the same kind of thing, he's got his mines down, and let's see, what do they got going up here, they're building up. Uh, this guy hasn't built any additional mines, this guy's gone down for mines and is slowly building up, yeah. Alright, so progress is being made. Uh, next up, I'm going to want to build out a little bit. I'm also going to need a place for my cannons. Uh, let's see. Sell that off, don't... Good, I do need storages. Do you here and do you here? Let's see, let's go ahead and do this. And then we just kind of wait for, uh... Wait for the opportunity to place our munitions plant. Let's see, what are they working on? He's building up. And he's building out. So it looks like we he's gonna stick on three mines for a while. Uh, he's already got a couple guns sticking out. You can see gunners there. Um, I kinda really wanna shoot them. Because they've got things exposed for me to shoot at. And normally I, I, I do that kind of thing to, to make people spend money on shooting shooting my weapons, and I, I kinda wanna take the bait, the same bait that I that I give other people just by building a sniper. And, and shooting at him. So I'm gonna do that, uh, mostly because I want to, but not that it's a good thing to do. Uh, he's, he just has machine gunners, there's no reason for me to spend any amount of time dealing with it. There, there really isn't. But I'm gonna go ahead and set up a platform here for weapons. Uh, there will be a cannon there, and then a cannon here. There we go. Right, snipers complete, open up these uh, effectively doors, and start spreading the love. Send the, the Christmas cheer in, in the form of of Snipey. Snipey's very, very happy. Oh, he closed that off. I don't think he wanted me to shoot that anymore. All right, so there's nothing left for there for me to hit. Is there anything down here? No. Oh, he built something. Where did he build it? Anywhere I can, anywhere I can deal with it? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and close him off again. So he's all nice and safe. I'll put a battery here and another metal store here just so we don't float any resources while we build up. And next up is cannons, uh, specifically 20 mils. So I'm gonna go actually Builds up this a little bit more. There we go. We'll get a third one right up here. Connect this up. And then get these tiny bracings here for the purposes of uh, doors later on. And we wait. Oh, he's got a sniper there, so we know where that is. He's right behind that door. At least he put a door on it so I can't just snipe it for free. But this cannon will be placed here, and then this one will be placed here, and we'll continue on. I love these holidays. They're so, so nice, so relaxing. Hmm, that's not quite what I wanted it to be, but it'll suffice. Alright, next cannon goes down right about now. Oh, right, F8. I keep forgetting to press that button every so often. So I have two, two of those going. And uh, if you guys notice, it is about four minutes, so we're going to be getting hit by heavy weapons pretty soon here. So I need to be able to take this, the same kind of heavy weapons hit that I'll be dishing out. And so to do, to do that, I will be extending my armor. Ta-da! Like so. Uh, there's not really much else I need to do here. I'll put a door on him. Next up, these guys are getting their doors. One door at a time. Just to make sure nothing horrible happens to them. Um, this guy's building doors. I don't know why this is damaged. Did I shoot that? I don't remember shooting that. I remember shooting wood that was there, but not, not a door. Alright, so that guy's got a door now, and then this one. Next up, we'll want to work a little bit on economy as I begin to open fire upon our opponents. And we're not going for any kind of, like, super upgraded 20s here. It's just, 
I just want to hear some explosions. Because explosions make me happy, you guys know this. Once the second guy comes up, we're going to start raining fire upon them. Uh, let's see, can I open this guy up? Yes. Let's do this. Actually, let's just go ahead and put these guys in the same hotkey. And bring the pain. Yes. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get down another one of these. Because I want more bullets than that. That's not enough for me. Much better. Come on, come on. Get get, get the monies. Get the money. There it is. Alright. There we go. How's Snipey doing? Snipey, have anything to snipe at? I see a gunner up there. And he's gone. I like Snipey. Snipey does good things for us. Is there anything down here for us to snipe? No, he covered that all up with uh, with foreground bracing. So that's that's alright. Let's go ahead and fire some more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Those are some good good cannon shells. Alright, uh, I think we're going to need some more energy here pretty quickly. So I'm going to expand back here. And get a one of these, and one of these, and oh, oh, they, yeah, that's the fire beam I was worried about. Um, more doors typically don't help against fire beams, so there's not really an emergency to do this. As it appears that this opponent in particular does not have um, heavy weapons yet. I'm not sure what he was going for, but he's going to take another wave, another wave of cannons. There we go. Oh, that just sounds amazing. If we get this one online, and then we can keep going. I'm going to activate the commander ability here for the extra resources and use the extra resources to build more doors. And then we will be, uh, well, adding to our firepower. And by that I mean firing this third cannon. Oop, that sounds like it's hitting me. It is hitting me, so I'm going to stop the whole hitting me thing with an energy shield. Let's go ahead and cancel that repair. Put an energy shield there while the rest of that repair is up. Uh, we do have some pretty th thick wood here, so that's not going to be doing a whole lot to us. Alright, time to aim at his core. There it is. All the way in. Yes! Just, just rip him open. So that's a good shot. So we'll do that again once those are ready. And we can get another one of these going, actually. I'm going to put the doors on these guys first, though, because they can have weapons out now. And I don't want to risk losing these guys. They're kind of expensive, kind of take a while to rebuild. More importantly, I don't want to rebuild them. My, my guns are precious to me, you know? They, they, they do good things. Alright, let's fire all the things. Here we go. Yes! feel good inside. Alright, so I'm going to bring this down and prepare for the next set of cannons, just down here, because we can. Uh, put this out. Oh, oh dear. That's, uh, that's fire. Good thing we have, we have doors and stuff on these guys. I'll go ahead and put this guy right here, so we can get the next, next bunch going. Oh dear. Please repair. He took a fair bit of damage in that. Um, how are you guys looking? You all repaired up? Good. That's that's rain. Um, can you aim that low? I'm not sure if you can aim that low. We'll give it a shot. Yes, they can. Aim. They can, in fact, aim that low. There we go. And there goes this fire beam falling into the falling into the abyss. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, my teammate going for the same strategy. I didn't even realize, but that's that makes me happy to see. We have plenty of Daka coming out of these guys. This this is this is good. Oh, I think he's did he disconnect? He hasn't disconnected, but um he's he's just sitting there waiting, letting it happen. Oh dear. That's uh that's gonna be a rough one. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> uh let's go ahead and move on to the next round. And we're off to round two. We've got the same idea here. We're against mostly different opponents, or like half of the players left after the last match, so we should have a little bit more. Can this build up? Oh dear, I messed this up. I'm gonna have to build another node attachment. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's get to slow us down a little bit. But that'll be fine. 
Uh, I, I just want more more twenties. Except this time I'm gonna build them down here. That way I could I could fire them all everywhere. Because uh, because I kind of like the idea of of having more targets to Daka at. That makes me happy. Okay, you go here. You attach here. Uh, I could fit a turbine right here and then build up with it. No, no, no. It'd be a good boy. Build it up higher. That way I don't have to redesign the thing a little bit later. There we go. Much better. Okay, next up, we've got our economy going. Next up, I need to get down an armory and start this technology going. That way we can get up to 20s pretty quickly. Let's see. Opponents are doing the same kind of thing. They're building up. They're building their turbines down here. I've actually played around with doing that. Uh, building the turbines along the wall. Because frankly, I don't usually use this kind of space. And you can just fit a turbine in here as you're going up. You don't have to build extra for it. Um, I've always found it to be very difficult to defend that territory. So uh, I don't usually like to build my turbines there. I really like these Christmas themes, by the way. Like, I don't know if I mentioned that before. They look nice. Uh, I, right, this map doesn't start us with storages. So I need to build out, get some storage here and here. Uh, here, there we go. And I'm, while I wait, I'm gonna attach this here. I usually don't like to do this so early because uh, it costs a lot to make any kind of attachment to the foundation. But I, I also don't want base to collapse later on. Let's sell this off because I don't need it. Get a little bit more money off of that. We gained, what is it, 38 metal off of that, which is good. It brings us closer to 800. Makes me happy. <sighs> this guy's built a lot of structure. Like, that's a lot of structure, and that means he's not going to have much in the way of economy. Because, well, he spent all of his early game resources on building structure, so you generally don't want to do that. But it does look nice. Like, look how nice and smooth that is all the way up. It's going to be pretty stable, too. Alright, so next up, I do want to build locations for these guns. I need to go down 2.5 to fit the 20, and then another 2.5 to fit the next 20, and then another 2.5 to fit the next 20. Alright, and then across building all this out of background bracing. There we go. And then this out of foreground bracing. Much better. And we'll fit the 320s in there. And maybe a sniper or something else. But now we just kind of wait. Uh, and build another battery. There we go. That should, that should keep things going nicely. Uh, I'm just going to watch for any kind of aggression out of them. I'm not expecting aggression out of him because he built so much. Uh, this player could get aggression at him pretty easy. That team is going to be late, so oh, that's fine, you know. He's got a lot of economy. Let's give him a nice old heart. Yeah, he, he seems to have gone for a fair bit of economy, that's fine. Uh, he's got this flak up. Oh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do this. We're at three minutes. Uh, just three minutes, 15 seconds, actually. So we're good. Thought they were rocket rushing. Yeah, a lot of times you see players build up like this, especially with these larger bracings. Rocket rushing is something what they do. Uh, you see all this large bracing. Oh yeah, that screams rockets. Uh, but we're about to be floating resources here, so I'm gonna... Alright, never mind. Let's put this down, and then this one. Uh, can I put door uh, wood here just for the sake of me seeing what's going on, so I can get that pixel-perfect position as close to this as possible, uh, just to have the maximum firing radius. There we go. And I do want a third one down pretty quickly here. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the resources for it. As if I don't start putting down uh, actual defenses, then they can just kind of kind of shoot me and end, end the game right here. But uh, we'll give it a shot. In fact, this one I'm actually going to slide up a little bit. And that way I could get a better angle off of him. Because he, this guy's angle isn't so great on the top base. There we go. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to need a couple more turbines, and I think... Hmm. Yeah. I, I should armor myself up a bit first. No sense risking the game when I don't have to. Armor up. There it is. Much better. We've got all the armor. That should keep us... They should... It's not, obviously this isn't the greatest amount of armor, but it'll keep us safe from any hit in particular. That way we don't have to worry about just getting one shot out of nowhere. And uh, give us time to react appropriately. But I do want to add a door on these before firing, because we've waited so long now. As it's, it's already at almost five and a half minutes. Uh, we've waited so long now that not having 
doors on these is gonna cost cost me all these guns which is kind of unfortunate because we're not getting a lot of uh, metal out of this let me sell that off to get enough for this door start working on the next one as well let's do this there we go now we can open these up and begin firing sell this sell this one two three let's put them all into let's see we're gonna go top base bottom base uh, let's go ahead and aim at bottom base that way we when our teammate assists he and he follows the uh, law of proximity we can uh, fire at the same target all right one two three Daka 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 yes! Oh wow, that just kind of did a lot of damage. So for those who don't know, the reason why I usually bash so much on these 20s is they don't do uh, a lot of consistent damage. They um, spread the damage kind of everywhere in almost a random pattern. They technically do more damage. What happened here? Did someone get sniped? They technically do more damage than one of these larger cannons. Uh, but they spread it out everywhere in a rather inconsistent pattern, and it doesn't penetrate anything in particular, so it's it's not great damage, it's just it's damage. And damage is usually not good enough to, to win the game. You gotta do a little bit more than just, well, egregious destruction of random things. Like, for as much as that was, sending three normal cannons, nice and pinpointed into the center of this base, would have ended the game. Uh, but, you know, that's not nearly as fun as just... What is that? Twenty-seven cannon shells just raining on a raining from above. Yeah, that's that's much more enjoyable to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and increase our economy a little. Let's do this. Uh, Tot is screams time for time for machine guns. Put you here and here and here and let's get this here and move this up. Oop, that's my teammate coming in for the assist. Put you here and let's fire everything. There we go. Oh, that just sounds so nice. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> uh, well, there was those rockets we were mentioning earlier. Uh, good luck getting them across now. Actually, my gunners weren't quite on mine yet, but he's aiming for my heavy weapons here, which are nice and protected, so I don't have to worry too much about them. Uh, let's cover that. Ooh, nice shot. So these I do actually want to aim a little bit low. He's got 20s. I think I'm gonna change targets up to top base because he's got a lot of weapons left unchecked, and I don't, I don't like that idea. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of armor here. Are these done? Yeah, they are. All right, let's do this. That's what I'm looking for. Break everything. So obviously, if you get enough cannon shells of anything into the base, it's gonna, it's gonna blow it up. But. I generally usually like a bit more precision, a bit more finesse with my kind of things. Uh, 20s are not finesse weapons, they're very much so the scatter fire, just random destruction. It's not really my style. And th there's usually better options, but they're so much fun though. Uh, they're also quite effective when large numbers. Alright, come on. Come on. Let's hammer all this up. There we go. Ooh, nice shooting. There's a couple of cannons, two cannon shots able to take out the opponent there. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. Is it going to be enough? Oh, not quite. We can activate commander ability and put our guns back. <laughs> a teammate finishes him off with a flak. Ah, alright guys, that has been our kinetic fun for the day, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you guys can get notified about our video coming up tomorrow morning. But for now, have a good one everyone, and I'll see you guys later.